What is up guys, Silver Warrior here, and today I just wanted to discuss some, I guess, hard evidence, or at least what I believe to be hard evidence, that the world is truly running out of silver and gold. So, obviously I have a few points to discuss here, but the big one is that the whole price manipulation thing that's going on. Now, obviously the manipulation of prices doesn't allow us to see what the true value of silver and gold are, as well as, you know, other precious metals too, but especially those ones, I feel like they're the most highly targeted because they're the two most invested in. And I do believe that while the manipulation doesn't let us see the true value, it also kind of proves the point that the world is running out of precious metals. And the reason I do believe this is, well, there's a few reasons. For one, obviously, if the price started to skyrocket, right, let's say that they stop manipulating prices, and, you know, silver and gold start to skyrocket, and people, you know, become those bandwagon investors I told you know I talked about not being but you know people obviously still do it and you know a lot of people start jumping onto silver and gold right then and buying it when it starts going up because they believe you know I can make a big profit off it. It's not even about caring about investing or something like that. Because most people don't really, you know, care about that when they can make a quick buck, which I you know I understand that if I could make a decent amount of money off of the silver right now I would too. So a lot of people start jumping onto silver and gold. And at first what happens is you know, the value of silver increasing is simply due to the fact that the manipulation's over and its true value is exposing itself, whatever that might be. You know, whether it's the $876 an ounce for silver and like 20, or I think it was like $18,000 an ounce for gold that US, do, U.S. debt clock claims, or, you know, whatever, I mean, whatever the price is, it's going to be going up naturally at first, which is where it should be resting. But then a lot of the value is going to be artificial simply due to the fact that people are going to be jumping on, you know, the silver and gold and creating that new demand that wasn't there before because they want to get rich off of it. And that's going to cause the prices to go up because what's going to happen is, you know, all the websites like Atmex and all the other big retailers of silver are simply going to start running out of, you know, the bullion because I believe less than 1% of silver and gold mined go into, uh, you know, producing bullion. So it's not that available in the first place. So these companies are going to start to run out of it. And... What's going to happen is they're, they're going to, everything's going to sell out, and probably, since bullying will no longer be available, either A, you know, people have two choices. Either A, they'll have to go and buy the stuff off of eBay, off of sellers who are going to mark it up, you know, two or three times in value, or B, they're going to start finding other ways of getting silver and melting it down. And what they're going to do is all the silver that's circulating around, you know, U.S. silver coins and all that stuff is going to be melted down into silver bars. And that's going to create a huge shortage for readily available silver. Now, what would also happen, of course, is the fact that the companies that rely on silver and gold being low would, you know, have to either change, you know, the way that they make phones and, you know, TVs or whatever electronic it is, because every electronic is made with precious metals. They would have to either change the way it is or simply mark up the prices by, you know, 10 times or something ridiculous like that, which is why I believe that they definitely have a hand in manipulating prices as well because it definitely benefits them so that they can, you know, get a much higher profit and still sell the their devices for a price that's not necessarily reasonable but still affordable to, you know, the average consumer. So what I mean eventually, like I said, it's going to get, or no, not like I said, but eventually what is going to happen is the prices are going to, you know, just probably reach a point where they'll top out and maybe, you know, it will go back down, but I don't even know if that could even happen, because every time a bubble forms, that's what happens, and, you know, if you look at history, that would make sense, but at the same time, I do believe that the world would truly run out of silver, or at least available silver, in a few weeks, I mean, because look at it this way, silver consumption, or at least the consumption of American silver eagles, I believe their sales went up 60%, when the price went up 15% recently, you know, when the price spiked, in one week, you know, the, the week of the price is increasing a lot, the sales went up 60%. So for every 15% the prices go up, the sale of silver goes up 60%. So let's say silver goes up 20 times in value. That means that the if at that rate we can assume silver's, you know, uh, consumption would go up by 80 times. If people were buying 80 times more silver than they are now, think about how quickly we run out. You'd see a lot of silver get released now that goes out of stock very quickly. Imagine what would happen? I mean, generic silver bullion and junk silver no longer would be available anymore. And people would be putting huge, ridiculous premiums on 
these uh, pieces simply because of the fact that they have silver or gold or whatever. You know, there's a generic bullion would no longer be available, and so people could sell a five ounce bar. Let's say silver was seven hundred dollars an ounce. Well, people might sell it for a thousand dollars an ounce just because the fact that they have silver and you don't, and you want it so badly that you think, oh yeah, I can make more off of it than that. You know, I mean, look at the tulip bubble, right? That was ridiculous, and tulips aren't even rare, but they became rare because everybody, I guess, um, you know, I guess nobody in that area of uh, Europe had them at the time, and people created the demand themselves. Tulips aren't really useful for anything, but they created a huge demand. And silver, you know, and gold would have that same kind of demand. I mean, they already have the fact that they're having a massive value increase. So the demand would go insanely high. And I do believe, like I said, that that would cause the silver and gold and, you know, possibly platinum and palladium as well to run out eventually. And, you know, very quickly. I mean, because if you... I've seen interviews with, you know, CEOs of mining companies and stuff, and they are willing to admit, yeah, our mines are starting to run out of silver and gold. And the United States especially is starting to run out, and other countries are too. You know, the mines aren't endless. There's not just an endless amount. There is a finite amount of precious metals available, and they are clearly running out. But if the price started to increase, obviously they would ramp up mining of silver, as, you know, there was no more service silver available anymore or gold, you know, or just precious metals in general, they would ramp up the mining of them because these mining companies can make a huge profit, which during this time, obviously, the one thing you definitely would want to be doing is buying shares in the stock market of mining companies because this is not necessarily going to cause an economic collapse, this price boom, so I don't think the stock market would be collapsing. I do believe, that, however, that the mining companies would be doing extremely well, and I would definitely personally invest in their stocks at that time if, um, you know, if that was an option for me than I would, which hopefully it would be. So I would definitely do that. That's probably a good idea as well to make some money. But in terms of metals, you know, I think it's possible that the world would run out. I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on how much there is truly available left. But I'm pretty sure that there's less silver left in mines than there is, you know, on the surface right now, is what I personally believe. So I'm pretty sure that the world would really run out very quickly. And I think that the way prices are being manipulated, at least partially, you know, a big part of the reason that they're being manipulated really proves that the world is, you know, having a silver and gold shortage. But obviously, that's not the only thing that, you know, could prove it. I mean, sure, the prices are being manipulated, but let's just say, well, you know, that also means that or, you know, the only reason they're manipulating prices is because it helps out the companies who rely on silver and gold to make, you know, a bigger profit, right? Just like how there's a huge monopoly on diamonds in the United States. Well, if we can pre keep prices this down, we can keep our production costs down. And, you know, we can sell these phones for $600 and still, and, you know, make a massive profit on them. Make, you know, a 10 times profit of what it costs to make these phones or 20 times, however much. Because besides outsourcing labor, you know, we have the metals very cheap. So, and if the metals go up in value, well, then they're obviously going to have to pay a lot more to create these phones, and they're going to have to, therefore, you know, sell them for a lot more. And, of course, in a silver and gold uh, price explosion like that, people would be focusing more on their economics anyway. So, you know, they wouldn't really necessarily want to buy leisure products. So, obviously, they would have other reasons than the silver shortage to keep the prices down. I do understand that. But, just... You don't even have to think about, you know, the manipulation. You can just look at the facts. You know, if you go and talk to anybody, any mine worker, ask them the last time that, I mean, I guess, you know, it's not very readily available option to go talk to people in mines, but my point being, I'm pretty sure that if you went and asked any of them, when was the last time you mined any silver, it would not have been that day. It's not every day anymore that they are able to find silver. And the process of getting silver and gold extracted from their, uh, you know, ores is extremely expensive and as the silver becomes less and less in these rocks it becomes more and more expensive to produce it there's a huge process just to get one tr uh, troy ounce of silver you know they have to go through like a few tons of material i believe if you, you know you're using the sifting method so i think about that i mean it's really not that available at all anymore and as the costs become higher and higher to produce it and the manipulation continues to you know, be on the prices so that they can't go any higher. Well, what's to say that the mining companies won't go out of business and simply stop mining silver? 
what if it doesn't become profitable anymore? And if that happens, then we will definitely start to run out because nobody will be able to mine the silver anymore. As you know, the price are manipulated, but less and less silver exists, and therefore it becomes more and more hard to find it and more expensive to find it. You know, properties that have silver on them or potential silver become more and more expensive, and just the process of getting it itself is really expensive too. Which again, that might be another good investment is a uh, you know property that has potential silver and gold on it might be a really good investment. And gold is obviously a little bit different because it's so much more valuable. That yeah, that's going to be still profitable to mine. But what about silver? What's going to keep that you know profitable anymore maybe you know they'll happen to find silver as they're mining for gold too but who's to say that the mines won't specifically target silver anymore if it's simply not a profitable thing to do and that will definitely uh, hurt you know the amount of silver available because there'll be you know no more being put into the supply and that would cause a price explosion and I'm sure the mines then would be able to afford to mine for silver again obviously but if you just connect the dots you know you can do your own research too but it's becoming fairly obvious that we are running out of silver and gold as you know there's less and less of it every year. I believe that American Silver Eagle mintages have been going down a little bit over time. I mean, or at least um because I know that the popularity of them's going up, so the sales are gonna keep them getting minted, but just look at the trends. I mean, over time, how much the prices have gone. I mean, even how much the prices have gone up, sure, that's I mean that's pretty impressive. But look at how much has been produced compared to how much the prices have gone up. And you'll really see that every year, generally, there's a decline in the amount of silver produced as the prices do go up, which makes sense because it's becoming rarer and rarer, so it's becoming more and more valuable. But it's not, like, necessarily natural, the prices, so that's something to definitely look at, but that's not really too important. Just look at the fact, though, that every year they are able to mine less and less silver and gold, and therefore, that's just a really good sign that the yeah, that we're running out of it. And I do believe that there's a very little amount left. I don't think that there's enough left to, you know, last us even maybe in 10 or 20 years. But I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I do hope you enjoyed the video. That is it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.